What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.3 beta 1 just a few days after releasing iOS 12.2 to the public on Monday. So of course in this video we're going to be going over everything new in the software, we're going to see if it's any faster performance wise and more. So of course like we always do in these videos before we get into the changes let's go ahead and take a look at the size of this update and also the build number. So you can see right here the size of this update is 2.65 gigabytes and this is on my iPhone 10R coming from iOS 12.2. Of course, that size will vary depending on your device and of course, which version you are coming from. So let's go and check out the build number by going to settings, general about. You can see right there 12.3. If we tap on that, the build number 16F. 5117H. So of course a long build number as expected. We are probably going to have multiple betas of iOS 12.3. So now let's take a look at what's changed here in iOS 12.3 and I'll just tell you right off the bat that there's not really much at all that has changed with iOS 12.3 but the biggest change in this software is going to come with the Apple TV application. You can see right there we have an all new icon for the Apple TV application. I'll compare it to 12.2 here. You can see here on the left is iOS 12.2 and that is iOS 12.3 so a much better looking icon for the Apple TV application and if we actually go into the application itself you'll also notice that it's different as well you can see pretty much the entire interface is different it looks a lot cleaner on iOS 12.3 than it did in previous versions of iOS you can see the tabs on the bottom are a lot more cleaned up now on iOS 12.3 we only have watch now library and search whereas before we had kind of a you know cluster of things down here we had sports library store search watch now is a little bit overwhelming so I like the change here with the tabs of course we have the categories up top now instead of having something like sports at the bottom and you can just see the whole front page is a lot better a lot more streamlined you get a lot more out of the actual page and if we go into an actual show you can see that even the search has changed right here but if we go into a show we'll go to this is us a great show by the way you'll see that the whole UI has changed for the shows the splash screen here not the splash screen but the actual screen for the shows has changed it looks a lot cleaner a lot more modern here on iOS 12.3 you get a little bit more information information down here as well you have new share icons and you know add to up next up here in the top as well just a, a nice change a nice overhaul to the application here the TV application you can see you actually get a lot more information here and of course all of these changes coming to the Apple TV app are because of Apple's new streaming service Apple TV plus which we will be seeing later on this year but as of right now we can take advantage of the all new TV application and what's cool is in this recommendation section right here where it says what to watch Apple is actually going to be using machine learning to basically learn and give you recommendations based off of things you've watched in the past. And the way that Apple actually makes these recommendations is by pulling content from more than 150 streaming apps like Hulu, we have DirecTV Now, PlayStation View, Amazon Prime Video, applications like that that's going to pull data from and give you recommendations on what to watch next. And I actually scrolled through some of these shows that it said uh, that I may like and I actually found some shows that I may actually want to check out. So I really like the new TV application. Definitely, you know, you get a lot more information and obviously it looks a lot better as well. And I can't wait for the Apple TV Plus subscription service to come out later this year as well to take full advantage of this application. We also have a new section here inside of Apple TV for channels. So basically you can go to explore channels and find shows on certain channels. So you can see all these different channels right here as well. And you can kind of go in and see the shows and movies that are gonna be on these specific channels. So yeah, a really nice overhaul to the Apple TV application here in iOS 12.3. If we go into our settings and scroll down to the icons, over here on the left hand side you'll see we have that new icon here in settings as well and then if we go ahead and click on the TV settings you can see we do get some new settings or some tweaked settings right here so instead of up next we have use play history and we also don't have the option to clear play history but I'm pretty sure that's because I haven't watched any shows yet on this iPhone 10R so just a slight tweak there in the settings for TV and then the final change I noticed so far in iOS 12.3 is that the modem firmware got updated to 1.05.00. So on iOS 12.2, it was 1.04. Point 30. So this update, it's a pretty big one, should help with LTE connectivity. So if you're having issues with your LTE or Wi-Fi connectivity on iOS 12.2 or any previous version of iOS, iOS 12.3 may very well solve those issues or at least help improve on those issues. Now, unfortunately, there is no change with the AirPods 2. I went through everything to see if there's any kind of change in animations or sound or any kind of options and customizability things inside of settings, but nothing has changed here with the AirPods 2 and iOS 12.3. I also did not notice any kind of reference to air power throughout the iOS 12.3 at all. So not really sure when we're going to see air power. 
I was hoping we'd see something in here in iOS 12.3, but of course we're going to continue playing the guessing game with Apple and, you know, probably wait till 2023 for AirPower to come out. But anyways, when it comes to the performance, I found the performance to be pretty solid here on iOS 12.3. I don't know about you guys, but with iOS 12.2, I still hang in the settings. Settings is still pretty slow for me, especially when I first load it. Sometimes I can't scroll down right away. So I did not have that issue here in 12.3. That could just be me though. But if you have had that issue, it seems to be resolved at least so far here in iOS. 12.3 there's never any lag or anything like that of course I have only been using it for about you know 45 minutes or so now so I haven't really had a ton of time to play with it but performance seems just solid to me here on my iPhone 10 R now as far as the battery life of course it's way too soon to comment on that but I would imagine it's pretty much gonna be the exact same as iOS 12.2 which is a great thing because I loved the battery life on iOS 12.2 on both my iPhone 10 R and my iPhone 10 S max but yeah that's pretty much it for iOS 12.3 not really a lot changed except for the TV application and there was a lot changed with the TV application. It's pretty much a whole overhaul. Of course, Apple getting ready for the new Apple TV Plus subscription service coming out later this year. I will make a video on that when it does get released. And I do just want to mention that I am sick, so I apologize if I sound a little off in this video. But anyways, I will be checking out the Apple TV Plus subscription service later on this year and I will make a video on it and let you guys know if I think it's worth it or not. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Of course, make sure to subscribe as well so you can see see the beta 2 video and if there were any other changes here in beta 1 I will make a follow-up video telling you guys about that also leave a comment down below if you noticed anything new here in iOS 12.3 that I may not have covered or just tell me what your thoughts are on iOS 12.3 overall but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon